In Character Creator, click File, Export, Send to iClone, and your character automatically transfers over to iClone, ready to work on. Your customized character will now appear in iClone in the T position, ready to pose. First, click Create, Camera. This is the camera angle from which you'll do your final render. Now manipulate the character's body parts until you get the desired pose you need. Just remember to go back to the camera mode when you want to see if the characters match the photos that he'll be inserted into later. In my experience, the nice even lighting provided by the three-point lighting project setup will work fine for most projects. I prefer to create my own lighting effects in Photoshop and see the immediate effect on the finished artwork. So for now, you only want to approximate the lighting in iClone. If you're adding your character into a background that has heavy shadowing, then it's best to add lighting in iClone to get a realistic shadow. Additionally, if you're adding your character into a scene with very specific lighting, for instance, if he was standing next to the glow of an open fire, you may want to add that in with iClone as well by adding colored lighting effects. It's time to export your character as a PNG file, ready to add into the background you have selected. Make sure you're in the view of the camera mode you first set up and select Render, Render Image. Make sure the format is set to PNG. I always output to the highest resolution to get the most detail. Check that Final Render, Super Sampling, Sample Size 3x3 and High Quality Shadows are all selected. To begin with, I turn off all the lights, then turn them on one at a time and render the character with this light on only. Do this for each light, and then do a final render with all the lights on. Then in the Modify window of iClone, select your character and scroll down the Edit menu to bring up the Display options. There are four options for Shadow. All Shadows, Cast Only, Receive Only, and No Shadows. I render the character using All Shadows, and then again using Cast Shadows, which highlights different areas of the character. You can end up with four or more final renders of your character, each with different lighting results.